Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to introduce you all to my carpet cleaning business plan template. So the way the video is going to play out is first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and give you all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do it, and why I do it. And then after that, I will introduce you all to my carpet cleaning business plan template, specifically the Word document, what it can, what actually contains the business plan template, and then the financial model, which is the Excel file, and that's where you enter all your good numbers in order to generate your pro forma income statement as well as your pro forma profit and loss. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and zip through this little presentation. As promised, a little bit about me. Uh, again, Paul Borowski, doctoral candidate, MBA, as well as owner of Quality Business Plan and Quality Business Consultant. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. So if you all want to avoid all the fun and excitement, trials and tribulations, growth opportunities of writing your own business plan, feel free to pick up the phone, give me a call, me text, me email. My contact information is right here. I would be delighted to write a business plan for you. I am also a published author on Amazon.com. Check out some of my books there. They're focused on business plan writing as well as understanding financial statements. And then finally, I am an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in both business and finance. So if you do need some help with those pesky financial projections, business plans ready to go, but those numbers are keeping you up at night, I'd be delighted to do your financial projections for you. Again, pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. Be delighted to help. And on to the start of the show, which is my carpet cleaning business plan template. So in this business plan, um, if you purchase my business plan template for carpet cleaning, it does come with a Word document, which contains the actual business plan template. And that's what I'm going to be walking you all through right now. It also comes with a financial model, which is the Excel file. And I will briefly introduce the Excel file to you all as well in this video. All right. So let's go ahead and zip through the Word document first. So in the Word document, once you open it up, you're going to be greeted with a title page. Anywhere you see yellow, that is where I recommend you all go ahead and make the changes. And you'll put your information in there. Uh, typically, my clients, what they're going to do for the title page is they're going to remove carpet cleaning. They're going to put their logo and then leave business plan. The next page is going to be your table of contents. Once you update the um, Excel, the the business plan template, you put your information in there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to want to inevitably come back to the table of contents and update it. And the way to update it is you're going to click on it. You're going to click on update table, click on update entire table, click on OK. And once you do that, all of your titles and all of your page numbers will update accordingly. The next section is the executive summary section. In the executive summary, you have your carpet cleaning summary, target market, financial highlights. The numbers for the financial highlights, once you enter all your information into the financial model, then you can go ahead and extrapolate those numbers in the appropriate places. The next section is going to be your funding request, how much money you need to get the party started and such. And then what we have here is going to be our company description. And under the company description, you're going to again have your carpet cleaning summary. Here's an area where you can go ahead and update your services that you're going to be offering, add as much um, details as you want. Next section is going to be your competitive adva advantages. Then we have our primary target market section, a pricing strategy, hours of operation, location. If you have a location, office location, put that information in here. And then this section wraps up with the business objectives and timeline. This is where you're able to re tell the reader where you expect to be in three months and six months and in 12 months. The next section is going to be the industry analysis. I get my industry research from IBIS World. They are the industry leader in industry research, in my humble opinion. And so what I do is I access the report, and then I'll extrapolate important information and update my business plan template accordingly. Next section is your SWOT analysis, your strength, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and threats. In order to update this section, you'll just click on the smart art, click on the arrow, and anywhere you see a bullet point, you can go ahead and add text and update it with your information. Next section is your organizational structure. First section here is the ownership information. Again, anywhere in yellow, put your information. If it's in parentheses, then put, um, you definitely want to make sure you put your information in there. Organizational chart, uh, same thing. Click on it, click on the arrow, and update the bullet points as needed. 
your marketing section, I, I provide y'all with three um, traditional channels for carpet cleaning marketing. And those would be your traditional marketing, your internet marketing, and your social media marketing. So I give you a real good start for each one of them. And then again, just update the information accordingly. Funding request section, this is where you're going to tell the reader how much money you need to get the party started, your term expected for a loan, interest rate expected for a loan, and then some other pertinent information. And the final section is going to be your financial projections. The financial projections, what you'll do is you'll be copy and paste the financial statements from the financial model, which we'll be covering in just a minute. Um, but in the financial model, you, we do I do provide you all with a profit and loss statement for one year broken up monthly as well as quarterly, month one through three, quarter one, four through six, quarter two, and we have month seven through nine, quarter three, and then we have month 10 through 12, quarter four, and then finally we wrap up that section with a profit and loss um, income statement, and this is just your annual projections for the next five years, and it just summarizes your revenues, your expenses, and your net income. All right, so the next th next portion of this video will be the financial model, and this is where you're going to get your financial statements from. So in the financial model, it does come, when you open up the Excel file, it does have four tabs, which are your information, pa um, information page. It has your projections, which is a, just a summary of your financial, um, financial position. It has your profit and loss statement, which is your um, first year profit and loss um, broken up monthly as well as quarterly. And then it has your income statement for the next five years. Again, revenues, expenses, and then net income. On the information page, this is where you're going to make all your changes. So if you, so what you'll want to do is anywhere in the darker colored cells, this is where you're going to put your information. And as you update your information, the projections will update, your profit and loss statement will update, and your income statement will update. Once every once all your changes are done, you'll then just copy and paste the income statement and the profit and loss statements into your Word document um, so you'll have that updated. So some of the information you can update in this um, file is your daily sales, your labor, your startup cost. There's a section for your monthly fixed cost, your miscellaneous information, your growth rates for your revenues for the for the next five years. And then down here we have our growth rate for our um, fixed expenses. And then we have our loan information here. All right, so hopefully this information was helpful. So let's go ahead and wrap it up and sum it up. In summary, if you are interested in purchasing my business plan template, it does come with a customizable Word document as well as a basic financial model that is customized for the industry. I also provide various tutorials. You can find my tutorials on this link right here. The tutorials just help you with the various aspects of the business plan template, completing them, and those tutorials can be accessed before or after you purchase the business plan template. Keep in mind, there are some limitations to all my business plan templates. You do need Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel in order to make edits. And also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns before you purchase a business plan template, be delighted to have a great conversation with you. My contact information is right here. Pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. We can have a great conversation. However, after you purchase my template, then I do not offer free phone support. If you want me to help you fill out that template, I do charge for the service. The service is there, it's mentoring, um, but I, like I said, I do charge for it. And then finally, if you do want to buy my business plan templates or check out the various templates that I have, the um, link is right here. And then finally, if you don't want to mess around business plan templates, you don't want to mess around with tutorials, you just want a professional to write your business plan for you, or you just want a, a professional to do your financial projections, I would be delighted to do so. Pick up the phone, give me a call, send me a text, send me an email, or visit my prices page right here. And then finally, uh, please subscribe to my channel. And that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, go out, make a little bit of money, and have a great day. Thank you.